Okay, good morning. This is the lab session for week two of the third round of writing Wikipedia articles. And I see we have Orange Abundance and Rosemary here. And uh, Jade just joined us and was having some connection problems and was going to log out and log back in. So hopefully we'll be seeing her again momentarily. Anyway, um, I'm interested to hear what you guys have been working on. Um, I've just uh, looked through the talk page, uh, the, the course's talk page, and see several people have had some questions uh, and some ideas to talk about. So we could start with those, but I don't think, uh, I don't think any of these was you guys. So if you have anything that you would like to share, uh, let's start with that. Is there anything that you've been, have you been working on the homework? Have you had any challenges or noticed, noticed anything interesting you'd like to talk about? I think I'm going to apologize in advance. You maybe can hear in my voice. I'm, uh, I have slept in a little bit this morning, so still getting started. Good morning, Therese. Um, so, uh, good afternoon. <laughs> I'm, as I, I just said, I'm still very much in a morning mindset myself. So, um, Therese, do you have any anything that you'd like to discuss? I saw you did have a, um, a question about the badge requirements on the course page. Uh, we can certainly start with that. That's um, as I, I just left a brief reply there. Uh, that that's basically the main thing that we're going to be talking about in the upcoming class, uh, and I'm happy to get started on it uh, today if you like. Uh, but never fear, that is coming. Oh, well, thank you for joining us on a holiday. Um, as always in the lab session, everybody, please feel free to use your microphone if you'd like to talk. It can be nice to just have a more informal conversation. Uh, you certainly don't have to, but if you have a microphone, um, you might want to start off by running the audio setup wizard, which is under the tools menu up top. And um, that will help you make sure that your microphone is hooked up right. So let's see, I think um, while you guys are thinking up any questions or uh, any topics you'd like to talk about, let's let's just go, I'm going to go to the uh, Communicate OER content page and maybe we'll just pick, uh, pick an article to take a look at. Maybe we can sort of look through together and see if we can come up with, uh, with some ideas of how it could be improved. So let's see. Any any ideas? Any anyone see something here that they'd like to dive into? Uh, Pete, the idea that um, I mean the the article that Trish and I are working on might be good because then I could get some help with knowing what the heck I'm doing. Wonderful. So I'll put. I think I have the link. I'll put in the box. It's the FET simulations one. Yes. Okay. Ah, didn't go in there. It's okay. I I know the. Um, the name I know well from uh, from the last session. So this is an article that uh, that Trish and um, and a colleague of hers, uh, Kathy Dassau, worked on in the last round of the course. And so Rosemary, you're now joining in and helping them expand it. So why don't you why don't you uh, give us a little recap of what you guys have done? Well, what what I've done so far is the second paragraph. I revised for passive voice and clarity, so I did that as a task to see how to edit anything. And then okay. I'm starting to work on a section. If you move down, there's an empty section that's called Research on Use of Simulations in Education. Okay. Trish thought it might be good to have some connection between what this is offering and sort of general discussions about simulations that might connect both open sources and other kinds to, to relate them to each other. So I haven't, I don't have much done. I'm doing some research on that. But um, that's what, that's what I'm up to anyway. Okay. Excellent. 
Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I um, I missed the, uh, the 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 second piece that you directed us to, though. What was the name of that section that you mentioned? Um, okay, it's um, down the page. That's okay. one of the new topics. It's called. Um, oh, where is it? Oh, it's 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 an empty section. It says research on use of simulations. It's right before reference. Ah, uh, right. Yes. Yes. So I practiced putting in a new section, and mm -hmm. I haven't added any text yet at all. Okay. So, what do you think your next step would be? There, have you been um, have you been gathering research papers to use as sources, or um, how can we uh, help? Or right, that's we, what I've been doing, and I, I guess mm -hmm. a little bit of conversation about the the whole thing with Wikipedia about uh, non not having original research because certainly literature reviews, while they're not considered to be that much, that I think a little conversation about um, how you present debates or, or that would mm -hmm. that would kind of be useful to me. Okay. So let's I'm gonna just pull up that policy page um, that you mentioned on no or, no original research. So the, there's a shortcut WP colon O R for original research. And this is one of the one of the core policies of Wikipedia, um, and it, it, it's it's one that uh, that generates a lot of a lot of discussion. Um, the 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 basic idea of it is that uh, Wikipedia is a place to collect information that has been published elsewhere in reputable sources, and that it's not a place to do original research. So if if um, so in, in a case like this, um, the section that Rosemary is talking about, oops, let's see, I just went back one step too far. Um, so on research of simulations in education, if, if for example, uh, Rosemary uh, was working on some unpublished research around simula simulations in education um, and had done uh, you know, done a, done a fair amount of research and generated a lot of material, but it hadn't been yet um, submitted to a journal for peer review. It hasn't been published anywhere. That would be something that couldn't be included in the um, in the Wikipedia article. Um, so basically, the the idea is that uh, we should be going out and looking for things that have been published and summarizing those. So. Um, with something like this, the best approach is usually going to be to um, uh, just, I'm sorry, just, just one moment. Uh, Sarah's uh, messaging me offline and I just want to reply to her. Oh, okay, so here she's in the room. So welcome, Sarah. Um, so, uh, so, Rosemary, have you, do you have some articles that you've Already found, or are you, or would you more be looking for um, some ideas of how to find research around around this kind of? Research? I've I've found a number of articles. I've even found a, a literature review on the topic. So I think I I think I'll have enough to be okay. able to do something that isn't quote new research by me. But it's I think it's just a little confusing to know the difference between aggregating past research, which sometimes mm -hmm. is original, with people who then publish literature reviews. And what Wikipedia would be frowning upon in doing that kind of thing. I, I think I've got it, but I, I I don't want to produce something that says there's this debate and there's that debate, and and mm -hmm. then that's seen as more original research than gathering the different opinions. I see. Well, um, yeah, because you can. There are so many different things that can be out there in published research. People can be expressing very different views and. And sort of choosing so so choosing which ones are kind of are worthy of coverage in this article is that's that's kind of more the the question that you're asking yes am I understanding right uh, I, that's uh, that's part of it I think it's also just the fact that if as a researcher I'm trying to see what the field is about I could be producing an original article that was a literature review so I want to avoid whatever. The, Whatever that means for Wikipedia, I think I, I found some articles. I think I can summarize the 
different debates, and as long as that's okay, then I'm fine. Okay. Okay. So, what I would probably suggest starting off with, and I'm just looking at the talk page to see if you've already done this. Um, yeah. So I would I would put a comment on the articles talk page, uh, basically bringing up what you're what you're bringing up here, saying that that's a section that you want to work on, and um, maybe listing some of the sources that you're thinking about incorporating into it. Um, and because okay, that's mainly like just plan. yeah. Okay. So I mean, it's it's mainly just been Trish um, working on the article recently. So it, you might not reach anyone new, but it's always nice to do that because you never know when someone else might come along to who, who is interested in the article. And it's happened already on this article uh, a couple of times. There's like if you if you look through the uh, the talk page as it already is, you'll actually find that there is some existing discussion by people who have. Who have come by? So um, it's a good way to, to sort of to both collect your own thoughts. Um, the talk page is a is a much less formal thing than the article itself. So um, something that I'll often do. I'm trying to think of an example. It's one's not coming to mind. But um, if I've just started working on an article and have found a number of sources that look promising, but I know it's going to be a while before. I get around to really thoroughly thinking them through and working on them. I'll just leave a list on the talk page. I'll make a section usually called something like, um, like uh, you know, possible citations or uh, or useful references or something like that, and just leave a list, a list of links, um, maybe with some commentary on it, um, you know, saying that this one would be useful for this topic. Um, and this one might be useful for another topic, uh, or this one seems to be widely cited. Something like that, and then that okay, is that both sounds, useful for me to come good. back I'll, to. I'll do that, and then other people can look mm -hmm. at those references and see if they're value too. Thanks. Right, and and you might you might find that nobody else actually takes the time to do that, but even so, it's useful for you to come back to as well, and and sort of um, you know work on in a way that's visible to others if they're interested in following along, uh, or or just useful to you if you find that you're working alone. It's kind of it's it's a nice way to to sort of take an approach that. Will work either way, depending on you know whether whether other people choose to come along and and dig into it with you or not. Is that uh, anything else on that? Do you want to stay with this topic for a little bit, or should we move on to something else? Okay, so. Hi, Pete. Uh, Hi. Hi, Peter. Yes, I'm. I'm. Uh, well, no, Orange Abunda. Orange Abunda from Madrid. Uh, I am looking from the frameworks in, in computer framework like Python, like that, the Angular, like my Ruby, Ruby on the Rails. Well, something very languages, uh, programming languages. I want to do something about them in Spanish, but I know I am finding that they are already translated. Maybe I must uh, keep in mind doing the botanical matter because in plants I have found a lot of pages that are different or are missing in Spanish. But on this computer world, it's, everything is nearly touched. I will try to find something that is not already done, and then I would like to translate them. Okay? Okay. Okay. So I, I, I have a little difficulty. Understanding you at the beginning, so I didn't hear what uh, what topic you were looking I, I, I at. I'm looking from the computer languages frameworks, okay? The, okay. The Python, the Ruby on the Rails, the mm -hmm. oh, the names are the names are not familiar maybe to all of you, but it's familiar for me. But as I was just in, in, in telling you the names that they are already using the frameworks were. But uh, so as I'm finding that most of them are already translated, but I can uh, already as I'm studying now these matters. I want to collaborate in this in this in this in camp. But if I cannot, I I finding as I already told you last week that in the botanical world there, there is a lot of uh, missing translation for Spanish. That is I think I must. 
going to be working with any suggestions you can give me how to where do I begin first? Okay. Um so I guess my my first question I I um as we got started there were with the course there were several Spanish speakers uh who were who had joined the course and I'm wondering if you have at this point kind of found each other and so in the in the last semester we had one of the teams uh was a, a Spanish team so uh, I'm wondering if there are other students that you can work with or if you've found any others that you're that you're working with already because I think that would be very helpful for you to be working along with other people who who speak your same language because in, in there are many pages that are already in English but are not in Spanish. In, for example, in the botanical world, maybe I can find more as I tell you, it has a lot of interest in Wikipedia. But uh, I would will, I will try to to find which is my my niche, as they should use, uh, in which, in which um, maybe I can help also in English. There's no problem. So if there is, if my group is an English one, I don't care. So I, I, I we we'll want to do. I, it's not necessary that I do the work in Spanish. Spanish will be a second help. I can do it in English perfectly, and I I love the English language, and I can do it uh, in the matter that is necessary. But uh, what I have found, as I said, in the botanical world is where there is missing lots of translation and lots more much more information. But I was looking for computer yeah. matters, you know, from programming, yeah. Yeah. which is and so on, because that's the, the thing I, 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 I am studying now and I'm, and I'm very, um, as you said, uh, knowing this thing, at, uh, the, the, right, the, new, the new methods and everything, so I can, uh, maybe I can use one page and change it and, and put more information on it, okay? But by what? Well, that will be later. So that, yeah. that was, that's, that's, that was only that I asked for suggestions. What do you suggest me? First, that I form a group with the Spanish for the Spanish mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. And then anything else? Um, so I think an, another um, another idea that comes to me is in the in the last round of the course, uh, as I think I mentioned before, we had a student who translated the Open Educational Resources article into Spanish. So I've just pulled that up on the screen, and it yeah, might be. I see that. I, I, I hear you about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it it might be. I, I think that he would probably be very interested in any kind of feedback that you might have on this article. Um, I don't think uh, I'm going to just look at the history screen here. Um, yeah, so his name is Casa Links. So not very many other people have worked on the article. So. Um, this might be a case where you could just look at the article and see if it makes sense to you. Um, if there are any, if there's anything that seems like it might be missing, or um, you know something like that, and then go to the discussion tab uh, on that page and leave a note. Okay. Any any suggestions? Please send send to me by by mail in Wikipedia to my orange uh, uh, email. Any any suggestions that you think from now to this weekend, for example, they sent to me just to to do a better job, okay? Okay. 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 All right. Well, thank you for for bringing that up, and I, I'll, I will definitely try to uh, to get you some help offline. Uh, okay. I'm sorry that I couldn't couldn't fully hear you. I think we were having a little bit of microphone difficulty, um, but. We will definitely come back to this and get you some good suggestions. Anyone else? Uh, um, can I jump in there with a, a quick note on the microphone issue? Please. please. Hi, everybody. Hi. Sorry I was late. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> um, I think uh, something we may not have discussed very much is we do sometimes get feedback if someone has the talk button depressed while they're listening. So right now, Orange Abundance, you still have your talk button pressed. So we're getting a little bit of feedback as my voice goes back through your your microphone. So it's a good rule of thumb that you deselect the talk button while you're listening unless you're wearing a headset. I think I think it was actually part of the um, the sound issue we were just having. <laughs> okay, thank you. 
I was uh, I was responding to you and realized that I had turned off my talk button, so <laughs> nobody was hearing that. Thanks, Sarah. So I see uh, Glenn has joined us, and Jade, you've come back, so welcome back. Um, anything that either of you would like to talk about? Questions, comments? Orange Abundance does still have her microphone turned on. Okay, so, so we, Orange, can, we can we can turn that off. There. Great, because I was I was still hearing a little bit of feedback on my end. Okay. Hi, Pete. And Sarah. Hi, Glenn. Hi. Uh, I was just uh, I posted something in the chat. I finally figured out I hate to illuminate. <laughs> I just finally <laughs> figured out how to make the chat work again here. So I had an issue with uh, with, with uh, a page that I started on a I guess it turned out to be a website, but it was a um, a large repository of information about. Uh, First Nations and American Indian groups in North America. Okay. And had trouble finding adequate um, sort of third-party resources to support it. So apparently, Wikipedia has this um, mm -hmm. has this similar sort of um, prescription against web pages that aren't supported somehow. Yeah. So that's that's a that's a great topic to discuss. Do you want to? Um do you want to put a link to the page that you um, that you tried to use as a source? I think I put it in the chat. Oh, okay. I think it just scrolled past. So let me just scroll up. I put it. I put the link to the the, the now deleted Wikipedia article. So I'm not sure. I see. To that. Let me find okay. the other site and put it up too. Okay. So um, I will be able to. Here, I'm going to put the the link to the Wikipedia article in the uh, in the web browser. Actually, I, so I'm using a different browsing mode than um, than we usually do. So uh, if you if you haven't noticed, this is um, there are the, there are these two ways that we can browse the web, and this one is much faster. You'll notice your your screen refreshes more quickly, um, okay. but the um, if I scroll around and if I log into my account, you won't see that because it's basically just loading the same web page into okay. your uh, in, on your end. So um, if you're if you're not seeing, you know, you won't see me highlighting things, okay. uh, etc. I, I put the link to the uh, actual website in the chat now too. I'm okay, great. I'll turn my mic off. So okay, so I will. Um, so let's look at this page first, and then I'll come to that other link. <clears throat> so. Um, first, just to just to kind of get to know some of the of what we're looking at, just to kind of understand what's happening. When you when you see a, a page that's been deleted, you'll get this pink box at the top that explains the history of the page. And so uh, we can we can see that that history. It's actually been um, it was it looks like it was. Created and deleted and created again and then deleted again. Um, so and just uh, so you guys are aware, I am uh, an administrator on Wikipedia. So if it, and one of the things that means is that I can access pages that have been deleted. They don't get completely deleted out of the history. They just they just get basically suppressed from view. So if you ever find yourself, uh, you know, if you if you ever create an article and then have it deleted. Uh, you can you can always ask an administrator to restore it and email it to you or something like that. That's it's typically not controversial to do that. Um, so if you want to keep working on it on your own or something like that, um, that's always an option that's available to you, even though it's not really widely advertised. And I'm happy to do that for you. And other administrators should be happy to do that for you as well. Um, so in this case, I'm going let's let's click on the the very first link. In the um, well, the first the first line in that pink box where it says Wikipedia articles for deletion slash first First Nation seeker. So this is going to be the justification for why it was deleted. So this is um, 
<clears throat> so the, the articles for deletion process is basically the, um, the way that decisions are made. It's, it's one of several ways that decisions can be made around whether an article should be deleted. Uh, and in this case, it basically begins with someone proposing that the article should be deleted, and that's going to be where it, uh, under, uh, under the red link that says First Nation Secret, you'll see it says speedily deleted once for lack of notability. Author now claims, I believe I have made the necessary edits to have the page remain. I disagree. So that's, that's all the person did um, to suggest that this page should be deleted, and then that starts a discussion. So that basically creates, a, at, that, <clears throat> at that time, there also would have been a, a notice placed at the top of the article that says that there's a discussion about deleting the article going on. And so um, underneath that, you'll see there are really only a couple of comments here where, uh, where other people weighed in on this. And it's, this is, sometimes a deletion discussion will generate dozens of comments and other times barely anyone has anything to say about it. So in this case, we're not, we don't have a whole lot to go on. But what I'm seeing just from looking through it quickly is like this, this last comment down at the bottom of the screen says, while clearly worth a worthy internet project, this fails to meet the general notability guideline. Good luck to the webmaster with the work. So what is this general notability guideline? It looks like nobody has actually linked to this in the discussion, which is kind of unfortunate because it makes it a little hard for a new contributor to follow along. But I'll just um, type, I, I know what that, um, the link to that is. It's WP colon GNG for General Notability Guideline. It will take us to that page. And this is a, this is a good thing to, um, to read through if you're thinking about starting a new article. The basic idea of the general notability guideline is that for a topic to merit its own article on Wikipedia, um, it needs to be covered in a sufficient number of independent, reputable um, media sources. So that can be uh, traditional newspapers, that can be blogs if they're kind of well-established and um, more than just someone's personal uh, you know, personal blog, but it's, you know, it's, it's a blog that has built its reputation on covering a certain topic and maybe has uh, a number of people contributing to it. Um, it can, of course, be academic, academic literature, so things like that. It does, one thing that, uh, that often people are not aware of is it doesn't have to be online. So if you have, um, if you found old newspaper articles in the library or if you have a book, uh, that's a, a perfectly legitimate source for an article. Um, it can be challenging for other people to refer to it and um, and make those assessments about whether it's a good source. But um, in general, the idea is that people should be assuming, uh, you know, unless they have reason to, to believe otherwise, they should be assuming that you're doing good faith work. Um, so if you cite a book and they don't have access to it, um, typically you won't find that people are are going to challenge that really strongly. So without being more familiar with this topic, I can't really comment on whether or not this is the right decision, but hopefully this helps you understand the kind of the reasoning that people were going through in making the decision. Um, another, sometimes when, uh, when an article doesn't meet that general notability guideline or if it's kind of in a gray area and it's hard to convince people that it does, sometimes another alternative is that you might want to make a, insert some information about that into another Wikipedia article. So, um, you know, if the, I'll just pull up the article on First Nations. Um, you know, maybe there's somewhere, yeah, of course there's going to be an article on Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe there's that's, somewhere that's in here right. that, that, you know, maybe there's a section. Go ahead. Well, that's where I started with is where I tried to link that map to another site about, oh, I uh, think. no, it's gone on for a while, so I've forgotten. <laughs> but it was a, it was a site about um, alternate geospatial information. 
so what the first uh, first nation seeker is is a is a it's a map it's a it's a map drawn from a different political perspective so I and I, I can't remember if the history is on there on that on the page or not but it was linked to another map so what I was doing is trying to provide more information about this topic on another site I see so when I but when I created this pit when I found no information about this particular website on that on that page um, mm -hmm. and I don't think it got accepted on there either um, tried to add this as a as another source on the first page there was no page so I created a page I see okay and as I mentioned in the chat there's there's lots of um, websites and, and other resources and, and, and scholarly articles that link to this site but none of them that discuss it specifically uh-huh okay so, so my my feeling at least was that it does have the notability it's just that for some reason um, the the editors were not able to or, or didn't feel that that was significant enough right right so yeah, that I, I I'm I'm starting to understand uh, the issue a little more. Um, so this and this is this is something that comes up on so many topics. If a um, if there's a perspective that is not really widely um, covered in more traditional sources, uh, it's you may want to add that information to the Wikipedia article, but the very reason why you want to add it there. It is uh, is the reason why it's challenging to persuade other people that it's it's worthwhile, right. um, and so you know I think ultimately this kind of comes to a question of um, whether let's see how do I say this Wikipedia kind of regards itself as a place to collect information that has already been um, has has already been sort of accepted in the um, in the scholarly literature or the um, the in, in media publications uh, and so it, it doesn't regard itself as a place to have um, to sort of adjudicate those right. questions um, so it, it can be it, if, if that's your, I guess it's. I would think in a case like this, it might be more worthwhile to put your effort. You know, if you, if your if your desire is to have this this perspective sort of better received in the world at large, you might actually do better to do something like um, start a blog or work on someone's blog where um, where you're building that information that in the long run will be uh, good source material for Wikipedia. Okay. Uh, Which is it's. I'm going to just jump in here too. So, Peter, I think the word you might you were looking for might have been peer review, in some way, right? There's like a, like there's a sense of some kind of exponential peer review, where once something has been published in uh, a newspaper, journal, etc., it's undergone some some level of review. Someone has edited it, you know. And the fact that it got to be published in something with some big name allowed. You know, further reinforces the fact that it that it's quote unquote reputable. But um, I was going to say it's a it's a strange thing that I wouldn't have thought of that you taught me that I've learned in the course of working on on this project that it, we do frequently inspire people to go out and create their own <laughs> third party external peer reviewed resources so that they can link to them so that they can build their Wikipedia article. Which is which is a real. It's an irony, and it almost sounds like we're cheating, but we're not. You know, it's just it's a reality of how Wikipedia works, right? Do I, am I talking sense here? It is. I mean, there's definitely there are definitely good and bad ways to go about that. Um, I think the 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 main thing, uh, as with as with really anything potentially controversial on Wikipedia is just to be transparent about what you're doing. So if you, you know, if you create a blog and then want to refer to that in a Wikipedia article, you really should 
make a note that you're the author of that blog. Actually, one of the first big arguments that I got in on Wikipedia uh, was about an, art, uh, an article where it turned out that the person that I was art arguing with was the was the creator of the website that he was very strongly insisting had to be included as a source. Uh, and this sort of this came out after lots and lots of discussion, and it was frustrating to learn late in the conversation that oh, that's why this guy has been so you know so strident. <laughs> you know he he has a personal stake in this, um, and I think we would have had an easier discussion if he had just brought that up earlier in the process. So. Um, it, well, in this case, I mean, if you just do a simple Google search of First Nation Seekers, Seeker, this this particular website, you'll see that it's linked across the you know across the web basically. So, and I'm although probably not to what's considered to be the I don't know if that's adequate support for 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 the notability of the document is that it's been linked to. Multiple times. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely a good. It's a good component of that case. It's you know again. It's it's kind of hard for me to assess on the fly. Um, yeah. How far this goes. Of, well, there's only a couple of published articles that I could find that really that really uh, directly address the issue of notability, and I've published them there, but they were not deemed to be adequate for this purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Glenn, why don't we? Um, we've got a couple of other questions. So, um, sure, yeah. could you could you leave a note on the um, on the class discussion page on this so that we can sure. follow up uh, and put in that link yeah. to? Okay, great. That's Excellent nice. question. Thank you. So, I see Orange Abundance would like to discuss something on the um, on the Udacity article. So, I'm going to just pull that up. Yes, looking at Wikipedia. Uh, yes, can you hear me better now? I'm going to put more volume to my. Can you hear me now? Well, it's okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I much better. Uh, Thank you. This is the first one I take. I'm going to translate to Spanish because I love the, all these open education matters. I think that this uh, uh, all the course information is from 2012. Now I can give all the new information from 2013. So every I would like to come in this matter first. First of all, I think it's very small, very concrete. And I, I, I am asking, Udacity is a company. Can I talk about them with, with no problem? Uh, can I put, uh, or I have to talk first with them, I have to approve what I am going to write about them and, and everything? Because in Spanish, no, as you see, language is not the, nothing. Nobody knows Udacity here in Spain, or in even is the, and have a very concrete and very practical computer science uh, courses like Stanford University and everything. I love this this page. And now I'm finding that in Wikipedia, there's the only information we have is this English page. Nothing in Spanish. I can do something about it, and even in English, I can update the page because it's, the information is from uh, last year. Now we can talk about the new uh, uh, things they got from 20, from this year. But what I'm asking is, how much can I um, talk about them in Wikipedia without uh, talking to them? I don't know if they going to. They have to say yes, they like it or not. Yeah, great, great question, great question. So, really, you you don't have to talk to them at all. Um, it's the the idea of Wikipedia is really that it should be um, a a collection and reflection of the information that's been published about them about any topic. So, um, the 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 company itself doesn't have any special status in. Telling that story. Okay, let me take, I'm going to take away the bottom one moment. Okay. I I, I was talking. I was taking away the speaking bottom. If you when you talk, then I will put it again when I talk. Okay? Because I the, the somebody told me in the chat that I have to take away the bottom. And here in the blackboard. A speaking button. I have to take it away because uh, everybody's hearing double. I think the the message. That's right. 
I'm, I'm sorry. I'm. I I heard you. Oh, okay, good. Sara, sorry. Sarah, you told me to take away the speaking bottle. Yeah, yeah, you have it. You have it right. The best what what you should do, unless you're wearing a headset, is only press the talk button down for when you talk, and then press it again to listen, and okay. then press it again to talk. No, 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 otherwise, we we hear feedback. Otherwise, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to listen, please. Then uh, after when you end, I will speak again. Okay. Okay. Very good. So I think this this looks like an excellent idea for a class project to me. Um, when we look at the page in English, uh, if you if you scroll down and look on the left hand side, you'll see there are about eight other languages. Um, it's, uh, I, I hope everyone's seeing the language section in the left hand uh, bar. It's in the bottom section. So it looks like there's maybe Azerbaijan, German, uh, I'm not sure Arabic maybe, Portuguese. But there's no uh, there's no Spanish article listed there. So, um, you know, Orange, uh, you, you could very easily just right now, uh, I think, start an article in Spanish uh, just by taking maybe the first sentence or the first two sentences um, and going into the edit. So I'm going to click the edit source button at the top of the page. And so we'll see the first screen is full of, um, it, it, it starts with info box and everything that goes about one screen down uh, is, is the code that creates the box in the upper right hand part of the, cape, the page. But then if you scroll below that, you'll see the beginning of the article where it says Udacity is a private educational organization. So uh, I'm going to just give everyone a moment. I, I see you. The CP is a yeah. private right? I shall check uh, the edit source. And then it's pulling me. You are not logged in. Your IP address will be simply uh, to publicize visible if you make any edits. Please log in or create an account to have your edits associated with a username. So that's the message I got in my PC. TV. So uh, I cannot touch this code. What I ha if I want, I have to make one in Spanish translated at the first time. What do how do you see fit that uh, uh, this week I just translate this page. Then afterwards I will adjust my new collaborations just to practice, just to begin from from one place. Is right? Uh, yes. Sorry. So. The, um, I, trans I, trans I do the first time just to get in touch with Wikipedia system. Yeah. Translate is easy for me. Okay, I translate yeah. exactly what they put. They only have one photograph. I can get three or more photographs, no problem. No, 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 nobody. And then next week and the other ones, I just come with my collaboration. I love this matter because it's a mock matter. Have you seen the, in the in the top of the page they are talking about? More yes. online, I, as I tell you, that's a thing that I love. I'm very interested in. So yes. I, this will be very useful for me and for everybody. Uh, this massive yes. online course, you see, in the first line, the city is a private organization, by Celeste, a massive open li online course. It's not uh, as, as known as the rest ones that are coming around, like Coursera and, and so on, but it's very interesting, and I'm, it's a small matter, and I can begin now. I'm going to, the first job is going to be to work with this, Uda City, okay? Yeah. So, so this, this, this line at the top where it says you are not logged in, so this, this just... The, the edit source, let's, no, I, because I was in your page. Let's go to my page. One moment. I'm going to, to my TV, to my page. Maybe I, this it was, this was, the, I cause, uh, I push the button in your Blackboard page. I'm, uh, I'm going to do it in my page. One moment. The edit okay. Source. Okay, good. I want to add my number. Oh, now I don't got no message. That's right. I was, okay. because the other one, I got it because I yes. did it in my page. Okay? Now yes. So that was my. This this is a a problem of the browsing mode 
that I, tr I, I should have been in the, the normal screen sharing mode probably for this. So I think I caused yeah. that confusion by opening it in the Blackboard browser. So now I can even edit this, this English page as I see, as I, as I know now. Now with yeah. my name over there, I can edit if I, if I still get to put um, 10 or more pages, uh, name, num name of courses or uh, information from them. And then I, I, I to create the Spanish, uh, the, the, the Spanish page, how, what do you recommend me to do? I just need to do. Yeah. yeah. So my, my suggestion would be to, um, to start the Spanish page by copying the most um, the most basic information from the English page and translating that. So this is so right now we're looking at the um, the edit source screen from the English article, and you see the the text that I've selected here. I'm going to increase my font size so it's a little easier to see. So I've scrolled down past. The, all the info box code, and I've found the, the part that is the... I got a, a, big, a, a big one, a, a big TV PC, a, a big monitor, okay? I, I'm seeing it perfectly well. Oh, good. So, okay. So, so I would copy this paragraph that is the, the description, uh, you know, the main introduction to Udacity. Yeah. Uh, and then... I would probably, I would open a new browser window, so I would go to es.wikipedia.org and keep them both open in separate tabs. So now we're looking at the Spanish Wikipedia, uh, and you want to make sure that you're logged in here. It, it, it may happen automatically, um, but you want to make sure that you're seeing your name at the top of the page. So here, I'll, uh, I'll just log in myself. Okay, and so you see uh, my name is showing at the top. And then you could type in Udacity. Okay. Okay. And you'll, it, it, it'll tell you that there is no article yet, but it also will give you a link to create the article. Okay. okay. Yeah, so now if you click this link, it gives you an empty edit screen, okay. and so now you can paste what you copied from the English Wikipedia. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going. To, uh, so we haven't saved anything yet. This is just sitting in the um, in the edit window. So I'm going to go back to the English Wikipedia article, and because this has these uh, footnotes, these references in it. Okay. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more code so that it shows those. Here, I'll show you why. I'm going to show in the in the Spanish article. Let's preview what this looks like. What do you see? What are we using here? HTML or HTML5? HTML only. This well, this is it's a mixture of HTML and Wiki code. So the Wiki code is like these these um. The brackets that will make a link, for example, these two square brackets, this will create a link from the name Sebastian Trump. You see how in the preview that turns into a link? But then uh, some of this does contain HTML elements. So, and then when I did the, the preview, you see that it, there's an error because it doesn't know where to put those, those footnotes. It sees that I've created footnotes, but it doesn't know where to put that information. Do we get access to these uh, uh, wiki language in information, language code, and so on? Yeah, so um, I'm trying to think what's the best uh, help page. This, this gets a little challenging for me because I don't know the best uh, pages in the Spanish Wikipedia. But in the, in the English Wikipedia, um, Let's see. I'm going to go to um, help. So this is a page, help footnotes on the English Wikipedia will give you 
a lot of the information about how these codes work. Okay. Um, okay. And there should be, uh, now also, as we're looking at this page, again, you can go to languages on the lower left, and you can find the Spanish version of this page. So there's also, uh, can you see the, the URL in the top? Here, I'll paste that in the chat window. So I think um, the, the, just so that we can um, get you to uh, somewhere that you can um, that you can continue in the short amount of time we have left, I would suggest that you um, that you do this this basic translation. If the um, if the references are giving you trouble, yeah. I think that you can just delete the HTML pieces of it. Okay, delete. So I'm. I'm just I'm deleting these now, and I'm just going to put these on separate lines. So um, let's see, there's one more. There we go. So I think if you took this much and then translated that into Spanish and started the page, it's going to look a little bit strange. So I'll do a I'll do a preview to show you what it looks like. You see, they're, so they're not footnotes. They're just um, right in line with the rest of the the text. But it would give us something that we can work with. So if you can put this much in, then I can help you get it into a nicer looking format. Okay. But I'm going Does to that make sense? I think my first job, uh, Pete, uh, is uh, this week, this from now to next Thursday, I'm going to compare, for example, Coursera page in Spanish and in English. I will find how they treat the HTML, uh, HTML matter and everything. Then I will do, and I will try to make my page as best as I can. Then on Thursday, because on, my, on Tuesday I know that you give class, is not uh, asking, and Thursday I will ask all of this matter again. Okay? Okay. Okay. I will That's compare, I will try to find some some information. I, I will read the page of the put page notes, and I will try to to do how they have done it before in other pages with, that are in English and now are in Spanish translated. Then this is what I want to practice. It's my first job in Wikipedia, and I'm trying to do my best. And the next Thursday, I will make you the rest of all the the, the questions and the answers I'm going to need for just do the do my job. Okay, I'm just going to practice okay. now this first week. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you. Thank you. I have taken <laughs> near all the hours for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, excellent question, and I, I hope we were able to help you move forward a bit, and we'll definitely come back to this. So, we are coming close to the end of the hour. Uh, does anyone else have? Any any questions they'd like to get in before we wrap up? Jade, I think I'm remembering, I think you had a question on the course talk page that I saw just before we started. Is that something you'd like to get back to? I'm not remembering what it is. I'm going to just go to our talk page. Ah, right, mobile entertainment. Okay. So, yeah, this one. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, this this is something that comes up in a lot of articles where you'll find the article and someone has. Uh, has added a lot to the article without um, including many footnotes, or maybe they've just copied and pasted something from elsewhere on the web, and so it's uh, it's essentially plagiarism, and so it's difficult to work on the article and add 
something new to it without really addressing that bigger problem first. So I haven't, Jade, I haven't really looked at this article in a whole lot of detail, so I wonder if you might want to take the microphone and, and give us a little bit more of an introduction to it. I just kind of looked at the string of edits that you've made to it, but I'm sure you can tell us more. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Oh. You sure can? Yeah. Oh, good. OK. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure that I understand very, really well what's going on with this article. I started by just adding um, internal links. And then just off the cuff, I just started looking at the sentences and looking at the, the references. So when I went to some of these references, that's when I started finding where where at least in that first section under definition and part of review and, and redefine, that the the words were taken there I mean they're they're direct quotes, but there were no there were no quotation marks around it. There were footnotes, but it didn't quite gel. So anyway, I, I'm not sure that the person was aiming I mean, really trying to pull one over, you know. I don't. I'm not sure that they were really trying to commit, you know, plagiarism. I was thinking that maybe because um, this article was put up in 2007, and it it looked like maybe they just started it and they just never came back to it. So um, I stopped trying to do the internal links and and tried to figure out what's the best way to go about this. So the only thing I could think of is where I could find what were direct quotes is to put the quotation marks in there and mm -hmm. and then, you know, put the, the footnote or reference, you know, to each direct quote. And then after doing that, then take a look and see what's actually there. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a very sensible approach. Um, is there a particular section or sentence that you can point us to to, to look at what the, what you're dealing with? Um, okay, let's see if I can oops if I can scroll down. Um, so we can't do it. Yeah, I've I've changed to the mode where we're just looking at my browser. So um, maybe you can um, guide me to which section. I've gone ahead and I've pasted the link into the talk so other people can go to the site and follow along. Okay, in the first section under definition? Yeah. Okay. So um, I see let's a... see. Okay, so yeah, that whole thing. I see. Originally, yeah, and that really that is had a... no direct quote. Wow, okay. So that's that's yeah. definitely something that that would at the minimum need to be quoted and and yes, it probably should be Summarized rather than than quoted in uh, in an entire chunk like that. So let's look at the article history. Um, a bit of view history here. And so all of these, uh, just for anyone else who's following along, it looks like about ten or twelve edits by you, uh, Lit Jade. So we see that we see your new username here. So I'm going to go back to the version from before you started editing, so August 9th, and click on that version. And again, we'll go down to the definition section. And so I see. So they did have the text according to Moore and Rudder. So that's, that much is good. And, and I agree that that probably indicates they're not trying to, um, they're not trying to pretend that they wrote this text themselves. But it's true. It's not a, um, it's it's not cited in a way that would be appropriate for a quotation. It it, it doesn't have the quote marks in. So um, so I'm assuming that that you then went to uh, these footnotes two and three and found the exact chunk of text in there. And so that's how you found that it was um, that it was a direct quote. So I guess I'm not really answering your question so much as kind of trying to uh, sort of demonstrate for other people following along uh, what you're talking about. Uh, I, I'm seeing I'm seeing in this an, an issue that I've found on many many articles. Uh, sometimes this will happen because maybe it's maybe it is Moore or Rudder who added this to the article. Uh, sometimes people will 
put their own words in without making it clear that they are that person. And in their minds, they're not plagiarizing anything because they're just using their own words. Uh, but when it's presented by a collaborative encyclopedia, there's no way for the reader to know that. So, um, so that doesn't really hold up. Um, I, I would think, Jade, that uh, that a good next step would would be to um, to summarize this and remove the direct quote um, to to just draw out the most important points of it and replace the the quote with your own words, um, sort of capturing the most important bits of that. Does that make sense? Does that seem like a good step? Yes, we have time to, it's past the end of the hour. OK, so uh, Jade, why don't you keep us up to date on the class talk page on how this goes for you. And same for anyone else. Anything that we've discussed here, please uh, feel free to follow up on the class discussion page, and we can carry these forward. So thanks so much for coming to the lab session. And we will see you on Tuesday, when we'll be diving into really a lot of the same issues that we have here in more depth around uh, how Wikipedia regards article quality and how to go about building up an article. So we'll see you then. Thank you all for coming. I'm so sorry that I was late. Embarrassing. Not a problem. Bye-bye. <laughs>